recognize the Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Yeah. Madam Speaker, I'm honoured to rise this afternoon and pose the first question to Nova Scotia's first black woman cabinet minister, the Minister of African Nova Scotian Affairs. This government made a legal commitment in the historic Dismantling Racism and Hate Act that African Nova Scotian communities would be consulted on matters that impact us. The government committed to actions and initiatives identified through community engagement that recognize the unique history and contributions of African Nova Scotians in the impact of systemic anti-black hate and inequity and racism. My question is, can the minister tell us how she is holding her government to this incredibly important commitment? I recognize the Honourable Minister for African Nova Scotian Affairs. Thank you, thank you for the question. Madam Speaker, the government has made a commitment, as you know, that legislation would go through an anti, that, that it would go, go through an, an equity lens, in the equity and anti-racism strategy. The office is working right now on that in terms of a very important tool in terms of implementing it. That tool should be ready by next week. So you can be assured, I'm sorry, I'm dressing. So you can be assured that yes, I am very much aware of the fact that we will look at the situations which affect the African Nova Scotian community. Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Thank you to the Minister for that and I'm so grateful to hear that we will be examining things through an equitable lens which in turn should be what we should be looking at all pieces of legislation through so maybe we need to halt on some pieces of legislation in order for us to do that work. Madam Speaker, people in our African Nova Scotian community are fighting all the time and have been for decades and the Minister understands that. They've been fighting to be heard and respected. So how is the minister going to make sure that her government does not overreach and, and uh, ride rickshaw over decades of community planning to protect historic, and historic African Nova Scotian communities? I recognize the Honourable Minister for African Nova Scotia Affairs. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and, and thank you for that question. I think, you know, our, our government are, are, are going to ensure I'm here now. And so I'm going to ensure that these things are looked at, that these things are taken care of, that we are consulted, that we are informed, that we have a say, that we are involved in these decisions that are made. We do have the anti-racism strategy, and we will be working with that as we move that forward. Thank you. Thank you. 